Hello, my name is Elaine Baxter Traher, General Manager of Children's Services at the City of Toronto. I am very happy to be introducing this webinar, which provides a series of short modules about the early learning and care assessment for quality improvement. Each module is tailored to centre supervisors, frontline educators, or members of a child care board of directors. We are very proud that the AQI measure has been validated as the only Canadian tool for assessing quality in early learning settings. We have again demonstrated the progressive thinking and innovation that make Toronto a leader in the field of early learning. Now let's turn our focus to the assessment measure itself. How has Toronto's assessment measure evolved over the years? Back in the 1980s, the original version was used as a self-assessment tool to support centre staff in setting goals. Over the next two decades, the measure itself evolved little, until 2008, when Children's Services started publishing the ratings on their webpage. This step provided families with more information when determining their child care choice. Operators began to use the ratings as a marketing tool. Posting the ratings led to an increase in the number of centres meeting minimum requirements. Before, approximately 67% of centres met minimum requirements. After publishing the ratings, the number of centres meeting minimum requirements increased to over 90%. As of 2013, 95% met minimum requirements. In 2009, Children's Services partnered with the Ontario Institute of Studies in Education, or OISE, in a study to verify that our assessment tool was in fact measuring quality in early learning programs. At that time, OISE recommended that we review our assessment measure and consider how we could better identify the centres who are achieving well and provide high quality programs. OISE recommended moving from a 4 to a 5 point scale. In 2012 and 2013, Children's Services embarked on its review of the existing assessment measure. The process examined early childhood best practices and research and conducted community consultations. In January 2014, we introduced the revised measure, Assessment for Quality Improvement, to the child care community. We offered 20 community information sessions, reaching out to over 1,900 supervisors, educators, and other interested stakeholders. The Quality Assurance Unit also offered the opportunity for QAAs to visit child care centers and answer staff questions about the assessment measure and processes. This was the first time that Children's Services had offered this amount of support when rolling out new assessment expectations. The assessment measure, or AQI, includes a number of program sections, the infant, toddler, preschool, school age, nutrition, and playground aspects of a child care program. All these sections are reviewed by the QAA. The administration, financial, and governance sections are reviewed by the center's district consultant. These sections look at the day-to-day -day operations of the child care center ensuring that there are sound practices in place and to support financial viability. Each centre that has an annual assessment receives a Quality Makes a Difference sticker to display in their centre. The sticker assures families that the centre participates in an annual assessment process and acknowledges the hard work and dedication of the staff. Quality does make a difference. Together, we can ensure that high quality early learning programs are available to families across Toronto. We hope you find the following series of short modules useful in your journey through continuous quality improvement.